Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have been away and I apologize for my absence. I did manage to get my um, Friday, oh gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Freckled Fawn Friday <laughs> videos to you because I edited them and created them before I left. But I have been in Maui. So, long story short, Alan won President's Club through his company and that got us on the beautiful island of Maui for five days and we loved it. And look, look, I'm so tan. I don't know if you can tell, but that's super tan. <laughs> and I just had the time of my life. I really needed the vacay and it's still Memorial Day weekend. So I am getting to enjoy a few more days off. I actually get 10 days off in a row, which I cannot remember the last time I got to do that. And I'm excited to be back and share some things with you. Believe it or not, this order is like a pre-order from Valentine. Or no, was it? Yeah, it was the Valentine's Day gift that Alan got me. And it's literally taken this long for some of the fulfillment. Cause, and I still haven't got the big tools. Like I got the Tim Holtz stamp press and I got the um, We Are Memory Keepers Planner Punch. And I haven't got those. So they're, they're still on back order. I guess the demand was so high. Um, but I, I don't even remember what I ordered. It's been so long. Um, but I did. Uh, I do have the little cheat sheet here. I got this from a cherry on top. And it does look like it is parts of collections that I already have gotten some pieces of. So... It may look repetitious, but I think it's the add-ons that didn't actually come until they were fulfilled. So, anyway, I will quit blabbing and start sharing. Let's see what we have. Okay, so I guess we'll just start from the top. This is the Simple Stories Love and Adore, and I've already made some pages with this product line and I absolutely love it and so I'm glad to get the ephemera now because I think I've got the epoxy sticker hearts and some of the epoxy um, sticker like they're not chipboard but they're like sticker sheets but they're epoxy so they're different and a couple of pieces of the paper but I love this collection I think it's lovely and of course lots of flowers and hearts and things that I adore so if you want to get a better look just let me know I'll be happy to share but you get the idea and we could be here all day if I did that right now this is Simple Stories Domestic Bliss and I am super excited about that because I am super domestic and although I don't have pictures of me washing clothes and doing laundry and all of that I've thought about recently doing more journaling about who I am and my interests and things like that and I am busy 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 I'm the busiest person I know so this is the Car Carpe Diem Posh collection and I love this little wiener dog I don't know why but I just do and I've got um, a dachshund well she's like a dachshund mix and then I've got a rat terrier chihuahua mix so and I love the little bouquet um, I think that's a cupcake actually a cupcake with flowers hearts the little flowers here the camera is adorable and the ampersand I love these just little decorative clips this is also from domestic bliss and simple stories and it is the um, decorative brads and so I haven't bought brads in a long time and I really like brads so I decided why not this is also the Love and Adore collection from Simple Stories, which is very oddly missing a huge heart out of the center. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where is the heart? Okay, so even though the heart fell out, it's still intact. I was very confused for a minute. But I just love this collection. Out of all the Valentine's collections that were launched this year, this is definitely my favorite. And this is the chipboard 
um, collection from Simple Stories Domestic Bliss. Ain't nobody got time for that. Bless this mess. Now, I will have to say, not to brag, but I don't usually have a mess. I have anxiety disorder, and if things are, like, out of kilter, I just, it, I, I can't handle it. So, this is the Heidi Swap stamps, and I just think they're gorgeous. I really, really like them. For some reason, I feel like I have gotten this already, but we'll have to look. Let's see. I'm going to look real quick. Did I already get this? Um, no, that is a different tidy swap. So, yay, it is not a repeat. Um, this, I got the Hazelwood paper from One Canoe Two because inadvertently I used this side and I was so upset when I turned it over and saw this side and went oh no I really wanted this side so I had to get another piece of this this is the beautiful Magnolia Jane acetate and it is gorgeous just very realistic flowers and I got the entire paper pad um, so I'm not quite sure why I got a couple of extra pieces, but I think because I, they were so back ordered, I think maybe this one is gorgeous. I swear I haven't seen this one, but maybe it is in the paper pad. But this is also Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane, and this one's simply called Magnolia. That, I don't know if you can see the detail on this flower. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. There were so many flowers in Maui. And I like this, just a vintage old brick wall. You can see the mortar in between. This one is Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane called Miss Jane. And it is a faded out, almost looks like wallpaper that's distressed. And also those realistic flowers. And on the back is just a soft blushy stripe. Very pretty. This is from the Simple Stories Love and Adore collection. These are the cut aparts. Hugs and kisses. I like that 4x6 too. I could see me fussy cutting that. Oh, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Oh. I just love this collection. It's very sweet. This one is You Make Me Smile, Love and Adore. This is also cut apart from the Love and Adore collection. And then this is the back side, more cut aparts. I've really been liking cut aparts lately. I've been wanting to fussy cut them, so super duper cute. Thank you, Bab. Welcome. Bab just fixed my daughter's registration sticker on her Jeep, so. This is the entire collection, a 12 by 12 collection kit, and it has a lot of the same cut aparts I just showed you, so I guess I have two of those, but it also has the alpha sheet and sticker sheet. And this is, I think, a specialty. I think these two are specialties because they're 6 by 12. So this is like a 6 by 12 and a 6 by 12. And so is this and this. Or I guess you could cut this off and make it like a 2 by 6. Or, I'm sorry, 2 by 12 and a 4 by 12. So the papers in this line, this gives you an idea of what's in there. Just gorge. Love, love. And then there's those stickers. And I love the little text. Crazy for you. Kiss, kiss. You're a keeper. Love birds. Melt my heart. You're my happy. Just all sorts of sweet things. Hold my hand. I love that. This is a must-have. I'm always out of white American crafts cardstock, so... I got a 60 sheet pack. Gotta have that, right? 
Then this is the Domestic Bliss Simple Stories Collection Kit. And it has all of these lovely papers. And sticker sheet and cut aparts. These are the cut aparts. If you want to see them in more detail, just let me know. But and I do love to sew, so this is perfect. Of course, journaling. And I'm I'm pretty much a domestic queen. I, I really love cooking and cleaning and like as soon as I got back from vacay, I was like, oh yes, I can clean up all this luggage. <laughs> it really made me happy. So that is that collection. I did see a Simple Stories summer collection that there was one chipboard sheet that I want. It, I hate to, when I want to order something and I just want like one or two things, I it kind of bothers me to do that because you got to pay for shipping. But then I usually miss out on that one or two thing I really want instead of doing a big order. So, oh, I, here it says um, on my order sheet, it does talk about the planner punch board, the spiral punch inserts for the punch board, and the Tim Holtz stamp platform being on back order. So when those come in, I will be more than happy to share them with you. And then I also got... my citrus twist kit in for May and maybe you've already seen this I know it's late in the month there's the lovely purple twine and I did get the add-on kit and I did get an extra stamp but it's they're naughty one so I will not share that this is the Brighton kit and the add-on and so they both came wrapped in twine. I was going to share this with you before, so it's got a nice yellow. Actually, this is more of a chartreuse, not a yellow. I don't know if you can see that color very well. And then the purple. And I always love their twine. I'm always excited about it. It always matches the kit. So, it's been so long since I looked at this. It's going to be a for me as well. And we will start with the main kit. And this is the only kit club I subscribe to. Oh, let me share. I think, yeah, this is an extra stamp. So I actually got two extra stamps. Um, if you like some that are a little unorthodox, they do have one that's unorthodox. So you're welcome to go look if you so happen to choose. But I thought this one was just so cute because it has the camera. And you can stamp inside the camera. It's got a little label that goes across. And it says, sweetest face, crazy filters, we just click, we're so cool, snapshot, lucky shot, on my camera roll, you and me, you stole my heart. And it actually has like the little bright um, flash. So, and I think most of the Citrus Twist kit stamps are tiners like that. So you could probably put almost any of their little tiner stamps in that camera. So I could not wait to get my hands on that. And I think it was like four or five dollars. I mean their price point on their stamps are ridiculously great and I will not pay twenty dollars for a stamp. I'm just, it, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pay fifteen dollars for a stamp. You're lucky to get ten bucks out of me for a stamp. And I have so many stamps I'm like I don't really need any more so they gotta be pretty special. But as I said this is the Brighton kit and we'll start with well, we'll start with their inspiration at your fingertips. They always include one of these, and it just gives you little layout designs. These are the actual sketches that they're based on, and I keep these in a folder so I can always reference if I ever need a sketch. And every time I use one, it never looks the same as the last time I used the same one. So sketches are a great way to have an inspiration jump off point. Um, so this is the Pink Fresh Studio. It is Dream On, and this paper is called Aspire, and it is really unusual. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I do like Live With Intention. It's very Pink Fresh Studio, you know what I mean? Very much their style, which is 
very different. This is the back side. So we'll lay that down here. Then also, this is the Citrus Twist exclusive called Good Vibes. And this is very, this reminds me of Maui. It looks like coral. When we, so we went out on a snorkel sail and we snorkeled out on a little island that is just kind of like a, almost a U shape, but it's a little bit longer. Um, and it's called Molokini Island and it had all this coral reef and all these fish and these fish would literally swim all over you. I mean, they did not care that you were there. And so that would go very well with a picture from that. And I do like the back. This is just a very cool distressed, almost like an oval or yeah, like an oval. Speaking of, while we were on the island, um, this shape reminds me, we actually looked at rings. Alan's idea, not my idea. And I found a pear-shaped diamond that was just gorgeous. So just kind of giving him some, I mean, he asked for ideas. So I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you ideas. Sure, I love diamonds. Um, so who knows what the future holds there. But I think there are some thoughts brewing in his mind, which I'm more than happy to hear. So this is also from the Pink Fresh Studio Live More Collection. And they, they have a really nice heavy weight. You could definitely do mixed media on these. Um, and this is probably the side I'll use since it's just so ready to go. I could see me using no yoking shimmerings on this. And maybe some of their pretty in pink. It's just, it's gorgeous. More dreaming, more laughter, more love, live more. Gorgeous. This is from the Cray Paper Oasis collection, and it's just a lovely, it reminds me of parquet flooring. Ooh, and this one actually has like little distressed numbers, which is unusual. Almost has an off stamp there and there. And then this is the back side, which is very Hawaiian as well. Maybe I should look into getting this collection for Hawaii. I don't know. I know that this is really popular right now, but maybe I'll get enough in the kits. I don't know. This is Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams and very Hawaiian as well. I could definitely see myself using that on a layout for our trip. We probably took... 350 to 500 pictures, I would say, somewhere in that neighborhood. I took my big camera, so I got a lot of really nice pictures when we were out. We drove the road to Hana. Uh, these are little teener tiner hearts, by the way. So we did drive the road to Hana and took tons of pictures of waterfalls and went down little rabbit holes and through the jungle. And Alan is a big guy, so he was really scared. <laughs> and wasn't too fond of this idea and so I was kind of getting upset because I was like look I, I want to see this island and you know so he kind of followed me down a couple of the little trails he's not much into hiking he thinks walking is cardio so I was like okay I've so I'd get him halfway down he'd be like I'm scared I want to go back I don't I, I can't handle this and I'm too tall and I was like okay and it started to get dark but we got some really beautiful pictures um, anyway Crepe Paper, You Are My Happy collection. At least I think that's what the collection is called. Very, very pretty. Oh no, I'm sorry. You Are My Happy is the name of that paper, maybe? And it's Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. And it's that lovely tape paper that you've probably seen. A lot of people show that. And they always have the little distressed, it's almost like old mask and tape or scotch tape. Um, but on this side it says, you are my happy, maybe that's just the writing strip, and on this side it says collected, so I'm not sure. And you always get a cream and a white American Crafts. Then we have the cut apart sheet, which is Be the Girl Who Decided to Go For It. This is exclusive. Um, these colors are very good for the Maui trip as well. Your vibe, my vibe. <laughs> That's so nice. So nice. I love their cut aparts. This is the stamp kit that came. Stamp kit. No. This is the stamp set that came in the kit. 
and it says hating, eating, loving, watching, and it's got a big circle for a check mark. Um, resisting, embracing, lol, now, not, yes, and rate it. And I thought with the label and the circle, like these little ones can go in the circle, these can go in the label, and it would be good for the trip as well because we did a lot of eating and loving and watching. We watched sunsets and all that good stuff. This is the bits and bobs that you get in the kit. It looks like there are a bunch of cork plus signs and these lovely stars that are acrylic. They're kind of thick. I'd say they're almost, they're probably three-eighths of an inch thick. And they come in a really cool, this is like a neon yellow that's clear. And this is like a golden yellow. And then, let's see if I can get that back in there without making a disaster. Oh my gosh, I did it. Unbelievable. Okay, so there's that. But you also get, in that same color of acrylic, these cutie patootie uh, arrows. I was going to say hearts. Oh, and look, they've got like little hash marks and dots. So they're very different. Very cute. I love Citrus Twist. This is Pink Fresh Studio Live More Foiled Die Cuts. So these are cool. It says you get 44 pieces, lots of labels. Seize the day. Little delight. Those are doors. Everyday magic. I feel that way with Alan. Every day's magic. This is Coco Vanilla's Endless Summer Enamel Dots. Super duper cute. I love Coco Vanilla. This is Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams Puffy Stickers. Wow, you get a lot in this kit this month. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much there's there's in here. Um, this says, Oh Happy Day. These are like a thick, um, they're not acrylic or a pop. They're kind of epoxy. I guess they're epoxy. Clips. And then the Alpha, you get the Pink Fresh Studio Live More Puffy Alpha stickers in this lovely, it's almost like a mix between a rose gold and a bronze very unusual color but I love the skinny font I'm gonna love using these I can tell you right now ooh and it's got wonky stars very cool so this is the main kit and then the add-on see I don't get the add-ons, but the last couple of months they've been just so stinking cute. So I have indulged the last couple of months. Sorry about the paper. I know that's annoying. And we will start with the paper. So this is the Shamil. Shamil, yeah, Shamil. I don't know why that sounds weird in my head right now, but little by little, and it's called Cultivate Joy, and it is just a very happy, sketchy flower print. Gorgeous colors. I really, I've never liked a bunch of Shamil stuff, but I love this collection. It has this lovely yellow stripe on the back, and it's got, like, see the little stripe on stripe? Super cute. This is also Shamil's Little by Little, and it's got all of these super dorbs, cut aparts that I know I'm going to be able to use for my stepmom's album, and just a little wonky blue hash mark design. Love this side. This is Dear Lizzie's Oh Lovely, well, Lovely Day, not Oh Lovely. Love this. 
This looks like hand drawn, just like with a watercolor, watercolor brush. Gorgeous paper. In the back, not my fave. I like the branding strip that says, hey, hey, hey. But this is just kind of a coral. And it's got little blue marks. So I like this side. This is also Dear Lizzie's Lovely Day. And it's just a very unusual, it almost looks like a, um, like a dusty, oh, how do I call it, what would I call this, like a dusk blue with newsprint in the background and the white daisies on top. How cool is that? Really unique color, I like that. And then we just have a ledger paper on the back that's got blue and green and orange and pink. So that's kind of cute. This would be good for journaling, but I really like this side. And then you also get a vibrant yellow and a beautiful turquoise blue. So that matches very well. Hi, Bugs. Hi, Mom. Having some chicken leg? Mm-hmm. Moms. I couldn't do this because I'm colorblind. Oh, that's true. You know what? I, my daughter could not tell you these colors, which is... <laughs> I, I thought that was a deep green, like a dark teal. Really? Is it not green to you at all? This dusky blue? Mm-hmm. Well, it has a green undertone to a degree, but, okay. it's, but it's very blue. Okay. Okay. She's just a little off on color, not a lot. <laughs> Um, this is also Shamil's, and I want to say it's little by little, yep, it's the die cut pack. Love the bunny. The bunny and the fox. True saying yes, she's nodding her head. Love bunny. Yeah, she loves that too. Oh, the little clouds are cute. The little raccoon is cute, so that's adorbs. These are the L Studio enamel dots. And they match super duper well. What color is this, Bugs? That one's green, but the one on the right, is that orange? This one? Oh, the very far right. This one? Mm -hmm. um, coral? Orange? It's more of a light red. I wouldn't call it a coral or an orange. Hmm. That's my worst ones, so red and pinks and orange. Oh, really? Uh huh. Blues and greens are easier. Oh, interesting. The things you find out about your 21 year olds. <laughs> so, uh, El Studio Live, Laugh, Love wood chips. Uh, if you can hear that, that is my Bab singing in the backyard while he cleans the pool. <laughs> and if that makes him happy, I'm happy for him because, you know, wasn't that long ago when he hated cleaning the pool. And he's gotten used to going shopping. That's the best part. Like, he used to get so irritated and he'd be like, let's go, let's just grab what we need and leave. And I would go, would you relax? I need to shop. I've got to pick up some things for the house. And he'd be so stressed out. I mean, he'd be in a terrible mood. Right, books? <laughs> <laughs> the fiesta was a hard one. <laughs> Libby, no. What are you doing? Sorry, it's getting loud. I'll hurry this up. So this is the, um, what did I... Yeah, he's doing really good with shopping now. This is L Studios Live, Laugh, Love double-sided journaling tag, 10 pieces. And you just get these lovely cards. Ooh, that's cute. And it matches that Dear Lizzie paper really well. Um, that is just the thing it comes in. There's the... I would say these are three by fours. Ooh, I like the pokey dot. Oh, that'd be good for journaling. Just the facts. Highlights from this day, week, month. Live, create, tell the story, repeat. True story. Currently, notes. Week in review. Live each day to the fullest. I like that. That's really pretty too. So that is the L Studio journal cards. 
And then we also, last but not least, have these stickers called Sunshine. And I just think they are adorable. I love the colors. I'm not sure what collection this goes with, but since it's got so much purple in it, I would guess that it's Paige Evans. But do not quote me. I'm probably wrong. So that's it. That is the add-on. I'm sorry this is so long, but I've been gone and I wanted to share with you. And I hope you had a fantastic... Wait, what day is this? Oh, it's not. The weekend's not it's over. Saturday. It's Saturday. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Let's say that. And I will bring another layout to you really soon. I've got a lot that are backlogged and... I did a bunch of editing and all I need to do is narrate and load those puppies up to you. So be sure to watch for that. I appreciate you all and I look forward to sharing with you again soon. Have a great weekend. Ta-ta for now. Happy Scrappy. Happy Scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>